I have installed Docker Desktop. As you can see, there are no containers, there are no images. In my Docker Compose, I will create the PHP container. I will give it a name. The build will be on the context of this directory, pointing to the Docker file, which is this one. This Docker file instructs that I want to install PHP 8.2 with Apache. I would like to enable ready support, PDO with MySQL, and enable the HT access rewrite, which is this file here. Whatever you put in here will allow you to run the rewrite mode. The MySQL, that's the container. And by the way, the PHP Apache, I created a network called Company Network, and this depends on MySQL because PHP will connect to MySQL. This word here, MySQL, has to be exactly that one. You change this, you change that. And when you connect from within PHP to MySQL, I have this connection here. Then this MySQL is the host because I created a network. And that means that if you change this MySQL, you change that, and then you will also change that one there. The password is password, the root user is root, and then the database is called company. Exposing port 3306 for the Windows host and the container, the same in PHP port 80 to port 80, this is Apache, port 80 to 80. Same thing with the network, company network. And this is something that you need to note, volumes, it means that whatever I have inside this folder, which is that one there, is going to point to the internal containers folder in MySQL. I have already run this, and that's why you will see that this data is going to be automatically passed to the data inside the container, and vice versa. So if you shut down the containers, and then you rerun them, the data will be in sync all the time. Ready is the exact same principle, I also have PHP my admin, and then you can see here that I will be exposing 8080 in my local machine to the container in port 80. You will see this in a second. And the network that I'm using is the company network, which is for PHP my admin, for Redis, for MySQL, and for Apache. So this is the setup of it. I'm going to run it now. Docker Compose app D, that's dash D is for detach mode, so I can have control of the terminal afterwards. I will pause the video until that's done. All right, it took one minute, and the output of it, the result is the following. I have all these containers, and the main one is this company, the name of it, company, is actually coming from the folder automatically called company. If you look at Apache with PHP, I call it this, and that is this name that you see here. If we look at the MySQL, that's the name, and that is this name here and you get the idea. Let's test it. I'm going to go to the browser. First of all, 127.0.0.1. You see this, don't worry about it. Maybe you're not seeing that, but that's because I have played with my HT access file and just to prove that it works. This data is coming from the database. If I go 127.0.0.1 port 80.80, this port 80.80, is this one here that's for PHP my admin so in my Windows machine 8080 and that is this one here this is PHP my admin the username is root the password is password and then I have the company database with the users which are A and B and this A and B are the users that I see here. So if I were to add a new user, 
I will do user C, then user C, C is there. So once that is done, it's fully working. I am going to shut down the container. So docker compose down. And this will just shut them down. Let's check it here. We can see there are no containers running anymore. The images are still there, but the company is gone. And then I will wake it up, docker compose app dash D. And remember we have A, B and C. And then if we look at company, uh, the containers, company shows up there again. And the data, let me show you that, is still there. The reason the data is still there, it is because I said that this folder in my local machine is going to be in sync with the folder in the container internally. So um, that is how you have a nice system with Apache PHP, MySQL, Redis, and PHP MyAdmin. Thank you.